here is how I did it. So I'm going to bring up Dark Mark, my driving project here, which has uh, 7,000 or so images, uh, but only 1,300 of which have been annotated. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so let me, uh, I can scroll around to a few different videos here. We'll see how this works. You can see all the different videos and the annotations that I've done. The, um, the ones with the X through them, these frames haven't been annotated yet. So the ones that have been annotated look like this. So they just have the class. You can see the different motorcycles here. I can, I can zoom in on this part. Um, vehicles, and then if I go a little bit further in this set, this one's annotated as well. This one is not, for example. So it tells you 94%, 100%, 99%. Uh, and that's one of the really neat things with Darkmark is that once you start to train your network, it'll help you to annotate additional images. And that's what Darkmark is doing here. It's saying, here's all the things I found. You can press the letter A for accept and, and literally accept all those annotations. Uh, once an image is annotated, you can drag the corners to fix up any annotations the way that I'm doing right here. You can make it more obvious. You can turn shading on. You can turn bold on or off like this. Um, there's lots of things that you can do in dark mark that are very helpful like that. Uh, review is important. So once you've annotated all of your images or as many as you're going to for your next iteration you review so if I go I don't know if I go to person I can scroll through and make sure that these really are people and not cars or motorcycles for example same thing here with bicycle same thing here with motorcycle I want to make sure that it really is a motorcycle and not you know a pickup truck that I accidentally annotated and marked as a motorcycle. If you found a mistake, you can double click on a row and it'll take you to that image. So this here shows you where that is. Once the review is done, then you create your darknet files. And there's a lot of really important options on this particular page. Uh, the first is which configuration file to use. So, what, there's 89 configuration files that come with Darknet right now, uh, many of which are old and probably shouldn't be used anymore. So, there's the first filter. You can say, okay, only show me the new ones. Out of the new ones, only show me the ones that have YOLO layers. And then the other thing I normally do is I only want to see the tiny ones. And immediately that brings me to the one that I use most often, YOLO v4 Tiny. And that's what this project was using. 640 by 352 is the network dimensions that I chose. And uh, the reason why is most of the videos, if not all the videos that I have, uh, the resolution is 1920 by 1080. And so 640 by 352 is very close to 640 by 360, uh, which is the same aspect ratio as 1920 by 1080. Uh, the other important thing, max batches, uh, 20,000. I've only got... How many classes do I have? Five. So 20,000 is a good place to start. Learning rate is default. Uh, okay, these are very important here. So with this particular project, I did not want to use tiling. 
Instead, I expect the images to be resized to the network dimensions of 640 by 352. So I do not turn on the tiling option. I do turn on the resize. Random crop and zoom images is good to train a network, no matter if you're using tiling or not. Uh, limit negative samples. All of this is the normal default stuff. The other thing that I do, make sure that you recalculate the, low, the YOLO anchors. Uh, I don't use the default ones. Um, and that helps you get a few more percentage points. Uh, I'm not going to hit OK right now. And then once you do all that, you train. And I have uh, chart.png. This is what it looks like. So that's not too bad. 89%. This is... Um, not surprising uh, that it only got down to, you know, what is it, like 0.5, uh, considering, what is it I want here, this one, uh, especially some of the, the city ones, I don't know which ones they are now, but there's, there's a lot of things in there. Some of these have a lot of objects. I'm um, trying to find some of the ones that have like a lot of people walking around the downtown section and stuff. Anyway, as you can see uh, in the window on the right hand side, it did a pretty good job. Let me quit from Dark Mark here. So I'll let this video uh, continue to run. In the description below, I will put links to the relevant project, that's Dark Help and Dark Mark, that I used to uh, annotate my images and to help train the network. Everything was done in Darknet uh, using YOLO v4 Tiny. And if you have any additional questions, come join us on the Darknet YOLO Discord server. I will put a link to that in the description below as well.